And now, your selection. Meet the stars. Frida Kahlo was one of the most original women of her time. Senor Rivera. Diego! Who are you? What do you want? I have something important to discuss with you. Okay, come on up here. No, you come down. I didn't come here for fun or to flirt. If I'm not good enough, I have to do something else to help my parents. You worked so hard to get this movie made. Why was this character in this film so important to you? Well, they, they were my heroes growing up. I discovered Frida when I was uh, 14. And I think it shows a Mexico that's never been seen before. It was a time in the history of Mexico where Mexico becomes the nucleus of all these, all these sophisticated minds. I was very taken with Salma's passion for it and the person of Salma Hayek. And she really made me want to, want to bring her idea, her vision onto the screen. How would you describe well, Frida? It's, it's difficult to describe Frida, but I can tell you the things that I find very inspiring about Frida. Um, and that is that uh, she had the courage to be unique. Whoever takes the biggest swig can dance with me. Tremendously provocative character. I love her complexity. I love that she pulls and repels you and makes you smile and frightens you. She was uh, absolutely unconventional. Her art was not accepted by people. I mean, she was bisexual. She was weird, you know, especially for the time and the place, Mexico, 1930s, 20s. It didn't change her. She kept painting her little paintings that nobody cared about. She was never apologetic for who she was. The fact that she transcended both an incredible physical life of pain with all of these accidents and um, various things that happened to her and this absolutely unbelievable love story with uh, Frida and Diego. I think the relationship was based on, on real, a real genuine passion. I was painting murals and womanizing in peace when you came along. The, the kind of passion that you can ex you can love someone, absolutely knowing every single fault and blemish that they've got. This is a young woman who fell in love with a man, wanted this man, even though she knew he couldn't be faithful. She accepted that when they got married. What she demanded was loyalty. And he could not ultimately even be loyal to her, but the love never died. You promised to be loyal. She really was the love of his life, and I think he was hers. This is a woman that lived under horrible circumstances, and she always made the best out of them, and she did it in an interesting way. From her pain, she creates art and poetry. From her husband infidelities, she is able to, to be free and, and to discover unconditional love. Don't 